because we're a council, it's one council member more important than the other council members. You know, one of the things I'm concerned about, I heard a gentleman talk about going forward in Inglewood. One of the things I'm concerned about, I do not want to live in a police state instead of in the city of Inglewood. What I mean by that is I want us citizens to be able to have our representatives to be able to say what they want to say. Going forward, if there's going to be any layoffs, guess who won't be laid off? The police department. Every other department in this city, if there's a structural deficit, if there's a lack of funds, they will be booked. They will be laid off. But the police department will not be laid off. I refuse, I refuse to live in a police state. And that's what will happen in the future if there's a lack of funds. And I support the police on the front. I would hate to live in a city without the police department. But I do not, I refuse to live in a city that's going to be run by the police department. <coughs> My name is Alfonso Parker Kinney. This is the Vietnam Veteran Council Suggestion 6667. Um, I have uh, spoken about the veterans, but it's all the homeless of Inglewood, since I'm speaking to the City Council of Inglewood. It's widespread what I speak to. Uh, when public infrastructure goes private, poor moves out. We have been, uh, Bush and earlier presidents, have put us in private information in turn concentration. You cannot get your information. Freedom of Information Act has been neutralized since 1967, approximately June. The only way you get to it is you have to have a lawyer to take the information out of the court, and they still can't get it. You hear this in the news? I'm not speaking out the side of the mouth. These are issues. Uh, this has been going on since 1941. Uh, I have researched all of this stuff. They don't do it, I can tell you. Send them on the NASA behind and the HSAC. I'm good. Uh, this is a bio of a black woman, Vice Admiral Michelle Howard, Deputy Commander of the United States Supreme Court. She is the highest ranking woman and a black woman. This is recent from the library. I researched them where I find them. The greatest asset that got her this job that she displayed, she was a good crisis manager. I used to tell people how to jack of all trades, master none of the damn Christian at all. And I stopped saying about the jack of all trades. I'm a crisis manager all my life from the time I was born. I just read you about the privacy. When you speak to privacy issues, which was done by these presidents. They don't feel like what they're doing, because most of them don't know military protocol or having a military service. Most of you need to have it. And then you say privacy, you come up under the Department of Air Force DOD. No president, no commander, no uh, Secretary of Defense, no Secretary of State, not even none of us. We circumvent the Constitution of the United States to accomplish any goal which is subversive. In other words, to get around through or over the Constitution. That's what we did. That being said, I've been researching this a long time.